Used car prices are finally dropping. Prices across the board compared to this time a year ago are down 8.7% and some experts believe there's a lot more to come. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homer Guy, here today with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homer Gal. A little early surprise here today, Liz, but while 8.7% drop isn't huge, it looks like the data is finally favoring the car buyer on the used car side, and some say it's just the beginning of a year-long slide. That's what I'm hearing. As a once-hot used car market cools off, there are good indications that the months ahead will bring some much-appreciated price relief for used car buyers. After a couple of years of putting consumers through pandemic price abuse or price <laughs> yeah. gouging hell, so to speak, yeah. it looks like used car prices in the U.S. have finally taken a turn for the better, at least for car buyers, but for dealers, unfortunately for them, they will not be making as much money as they had in recent months and years. The overall drop from September of last year has been 4.7%, with prices dropping a surprising 8.7% across the board compared to this same time a year ago. The study by iccars.com, a data-driven car research and research company, analyzed 1.8 million used car sales between February 2022 and February 2023. So the results we're talking about are covering two time periods, the last six months and the last year. Right. With a comment that significantly surprised me, Carl Brower, an IC Cars analyst, said about the used car pricing shift from a 7.8% positive increase to an 8.7% negative decrease, a nearly 17% flip around which occurred over the past six months and the significance it could have. He said, if the trend continues, we could see prices back at pre-pandemic levels by the end of the year. Whoa. Pre-pandemic levels? That's exciting. Now, wouldn't that be something? I think we'd have partying in the streets going on. But to be <laughs> clear, while prices are dropping in most regions, nobody is saying that prices are as low right now as they were before the pandemic took over. Briar went on to say the used car market has fragmented over the past year. While prices are still higher than before the pandemic, they have consistently dropped over the past year and at an accelerated rate in the past six months. There are several factors behind price drops. You guys recall when we covered the Tesla Model 3 price drop, and that led the price plunge in the last six months, dropping 11302 bucks from its average price last year to 41337 now, a 21% reduction as Tesla CEO said whatever he dang well wanted to say and bought whatever he dang well wanted to buy, a practice that, well, as it turns out, has a pretty big effect on the entire car market, right. pretty much like we said it would. Here's some additional information on specific categories of cars that have seen the biggest drops. The used car model with the second biggest drop in price since September was, of all things, the Nissan Kicks. This cute little car is now going for $3,050 less than it went for just six months ago, a 13.4% drop to an average transaction of $19,713. That was followed by the all-electric Nissan Leaf, which went down 12% to the average sale price of $25,734. Among price drops for the last 12 months, the Infiniti QX80 full-size SUV dropped 22.3% or $11,780 to an average price of $41,094. Its mainstream stablemate, the Nissan Armada, dropped 20.3% to 33,300, while the Land Rover Discovery dropped 19.9% in the last year to 40,841. The Tesla Model 3 was right behind those with a 19.3% price drop compared to a year ago at 41,337 now. Back with the top 10 used car price drops right after this message from our very own Mary Jo. Hello, I am Mary Jo from the Homework Guy team. Don't Kevin and Elizabeth do a great job? We are so proud of every show our team puts out, carefully researched for accuracy and designed to help car buyers just like you. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and ring the bell so you get notifications of upcoming shows. Thank you for listening. And by the way, if you haven't already noticed, check out the light pattern on our ceiling. Pretty cool, huh? Here are the top 10 used car price drops since September last year, besides the price drops for the Nissan Kicks and Nissan Leaf we already mentioned. The Toyota CHR is down $3,072 for an 11.9% drop. Jaguar E-Pace is down $4,437 for an 11.6% drop. Toyota Prius Prime is down $3,875 for an 11.5% drop. Chevy Malibu is down $2,463 for an 11.4% drop. Toyota RAV4 is down 35.37 for an 11.4% drop. Toyota Camry is down $3,050 for a 11.1% drop. Nice. 
and the Hyundai Ioniq Hybrid is down $2,540 for an 11% drop. In the same time frame, all categories of cars dropped from an average price of $33,368 to $31,815, a 4.7% price drop. Those are all excellent price reductions, and a commonly held belief is that Tesla pushed that button with their significant price reductions for EV cars. What's interesting is that at the same time, while prices were dropping, others were going up. So which ones, Liz? Well, in the last six months, it was luxury and sports car prices that went up the most, led by the Mercedes-Benz S-Class and GLS, which rose over 11% to 87981 and 67700 respectively, and the Porsche 911, which rose 10.6% to a whopping 190,770 smack rolls. Among price increases for used cars over the last year, the Porsche 911 went up the most by $21,913 or 13% to reach that $190,770 figure. Used car. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. The next biggest increase was half that of the Porsche. The humble Hyundai Sonata Hybrid was up 6.8% on the used car market at $26,870. And while the Chevy Bolt EV was up 5.9%, to 25,819. Well, that's all in fine and dandy with me because I personally wouldn't want either of those two vehicles. <laughs> right. Hopefully today's show helped ignite some optimism that maybe, just maybe, the used car market is finally starting to shift. Just maybe. Yeah, if you're new here and you missed this recent show, three major reasons to wait until after June 2023 to buy a new car. Make sure you check it out. We presented three excellent reasons in that show to wait this market out a little longer, and it only adds importance to the reason you should subscribe and hit the notification bell and stay up to date on future THG car buying announcements. Speaking of our upcoming new car buying process, if you'd like to be on the list to be notified when this hassle-free car buying process goes live, email us at the contact email listed here or text to this number 701-441-3399. And let me tell you something, friends. Not only will the purchase be easy, but you're also going to absolutely love how clean and simple it will be to trade in your current vehicle and actually get fair market price for it. You definitely won't want to miss this launch. And right now, we are putting a database together with thousands of positive responses from interested viewers around the country, and it's not too late for you to get on the list too. Please include in your email or text your first name, the state you're in for strategic geographic reasons, and the brand and model of car you're interested in. Your feedback helps us zero in on where to launch first. If you're already messaged us, we will message you back requesting this information. There's a lot that goes into making something this big take off right with as few bumps in the road as possible, and you telling us a brand of car you're looking for and what state you're in will go into our strategic plan for states and car types to open up with first. Yes. For our newest viewers, besides email or text, you can also connect with the Homework Guide team on Facebook. If you want more in-depth information on car buying and what to be aware of when you're out there shopping for a car, please visit our website, thehomeworkguide.com. A lot of frequently asked questions can be answered right on our website. When you get there, scroll down the main page to find tons of free downloads designed to help you get through the process of buying a car without getting ripped off. Lastly, if you'd like to show us some love, you can do so with even a small tip at any of the links you can find in the description box below. You'll also see a super thanks button just below the video. Thanks everyone. We appreciate everything you do for us. All right, if you're new here at the Homer Guide channel, as Mary Jo said and Elizabeth just reminded you, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss out on our future announcements. Join our fast growing group of subscribers and become a part of our YouTube family. If you're one of our newest subscribers, welcome. Welcome. Also, thanks to many faithful followers for coming back. And to all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth and justice in the car business. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.